So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sitting in here in one of the most anticipated performance brands here in the Philippines. This is the all new Lincoln Co. 01 p -Hev. I was supposed to drive the 05. Firing this is a one and a half liter turbocharged engine that produces a combined output of 262 horsepower and 265 newton meters of torque. And unlike most uh, plugging hybrid electric vehicles out there, this one is mated to a seven speed wet type dual clutch transmission. So expect this to be a very peppy vehicle and a fuel efficient uh, car at the same time. So this has a type two charger too. And the total EV range of this is at 69 kilometers. No, no pun intended. So here we go. First impression, I think we're in EV, yeah, just in EV mode. Oh wow, that's so cool. So we have three diving modes here too, uh, pure, hybrid, and then power mode. So pure is the full EV mode, and then hybrid, of course, the most balanced one, and of course, we'll go to power mode later in a bit. And then here in your infotainment system, there's a lot of stuff you can do, and then uh, you have a top-down 360-degree camera along too with a reverse camera. Pretty solid quality, I have to say, and I like this uh, digital instrument cluster too. More buttons here in the center console, which I cannot help that I have to compare Volvo because Lincoln Co. share parts along too with Volvo. So the plus minus is left to right. But I know being this the dual clutch transmission, yeah, this will automatically shop upshift even though in your manual mode. So here we're again here at the Manila International Auto Show and just going through DJs throughout here. Uh, yeah, went to uh, no, the NVH here is among one of the better Chinese cars I've tried out so far. And handling wise, okay, surprising there's a lot of heft here even though I think we're just in pure mode. I uh, know hybrid mode no, and just simply at the gentle cruise. And let's go, I think we're just in uh, hybrid mode. Yeah, so far so good. Let's floor it. The engine just kicked in. Wow, so that's just hybrid mode, mind you, okay? We're not in the crazy power mode yet, but I'm very keen on how it will perform once you open, stretch its legs a little bit more. It's very nice plush leather here too. No paddle shifter, sadly, but it's fine, I guess. And then as well, this has fully uh, a the system all around too. And more blue accents here, like two here in the seat, especially here on the uh, top part itself. And I like the wheels too. Yes, a little bit OC. However, it does give it a unique look, I have to say. And then here, just hybrid mode, electric EV mode only. Oh, that's pretty good. And then here now, uh, let's go power mode. Oh! Wow. Wow, 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 wow. that's really good. So I think this has regenerative braking, but I'm not able to find it here in the infotainment system. However, uh, all of this stuff here is pretty good too. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wow, that's pretty good. Of course, being a hybrid electric vehicle, you have almost instantaneous torque and as well with the power itself. Yeah, this is among one of the more powerful behaves that you can buy out there today. Wow, that's so good. As well too, being a three-cylinder engine, sorry, I said four-cylinder earlier. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Sounds as well really good. And then here's suspension test. Here, a bit of rocky road here and there. Oh, wow, that's pretty... Okay, you can feel a little bit of stiffness in the suspension, but that's, I guess, given in all this uh, class of vehicles. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of wheel spin there, of course. Again, this is a very powerful crossover. Not to my surprise, though. And here, just going around here at the, the test route here at the Manila International Auto, so we're just doing already what? It says here 10, 10 kilometers per liter. Remember, I'm hooning this thing around like mad. And why not? Sport mode. Holy shish. Wow, that's so good. So I think right now, since I've driven a lot of hybrid vehicles, electric vehicles, all and whatnot, I think I might have a new favorite <laughs> favorite uh, PHEV and this is I think as well one of the first full PHEVs that I've driven on my channel and yeah this is such a good vehicle not to my surprise and of course being the zero one, one and number one car that I've driven from Lincoln Co. We're already here at a very very good start I'm yeah I'm very impressed with Lincoln Co. yes this is one of I've been anticipating this Chinese brand for quite some time too I keep saying that with some brands apologies but this one I've been waiting for because this has a lot of... <laughs> they have...
have a lot of motorsport heritage too and This one is somewhat competitively priced too. Sorry, I have to. I, this is the first time I've been in this vehicle. Oh, two million three hundred and thirty-eight thousand pesos. So it's a little bit more affordable than the other PHEVs that I tried out on my channel and in this class of a vehicle too. However, unlike the rest that I've driven, this is one among one of the most sportiest and probably the fastest too I've ever tried out too. This is such a good car, and hopefully we will drive another Lincoln Co later or coming soon on my channel. Hopefully we have a lend out of this because this this Lincoln Co. We're just starting. Remember with the zero one. I really really like this vehicle. So yeah, that concludes my quick test drive review of this. What of a beast of a crossover, this Lincoln Co. 01 PM. So I'd like to thank everyone here at Lincoln Co. Philippines here at the Manila International Auto Show. And to Sir Albert Trevino of Lincoln Co. Alabang, their dealer will open up soon. You should highly check out this new brand here in the Philippines. It's among one of the sportiest brands you can buy here today. So, hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more cars again here at the Manila International Auto Show. Bye-bye. Oh, you put it there.